Are you fed up of creating crap depth maps when you're trying to make one? Well, I used to be, but today I'm going to share with you a program and a process that I use to make highly detailed depth maps for my 3D printing, but you can also use it for CNC carving and laser engraving, whatever your project is. If you need a depth map, in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get straight into it. So here we go. We're over on the website that I use. Now, this is Sculpt OK. It's a really cool website. And as you can see, there's lots of different tools. You come up along the top and you'll see AI tools. You've got the depth map generator, which we're going to be looking at and using. You've got the, an image generator, so you can just give it some prompts and you can make your own images. You can actually do 3D model generation. You can upscale images. Lots of different things you can use it for. But today, we're going to be concentrating oh, on this one over here, the depth map. So we just click on that. Really simple. And it loads us to this, sc this screen. Now, there's lots of different options, and we're just going to do the real, we're just going to do it, it does it all for you. It's going to be really, really simple, what I like, and it's pretty quick as well. So what we're going to click on, just to get some settings before we start, there's lots of different things you can choose here. As you know, our starting image is this one, if I just pull it into the view, and obviously it's a colour image. So we're going to be clicking this button here, down here, colour image. So we've got the colour image selected. We're going to turn off optimization because we don't want it to change anything. We want to use that image as it is. And we're going to click Pro. You can either do Basic or Pro. I'm going to do Pro because I've got that option. And I'm going to go for 16 bit. And that'll just give you more, better details, less layer lines, that type of thing. And then once you've done that, all you do is you load your graphic in, the image that you want to turn into a depth map. So we'll do that now. Just quickly do that. There he is. Click Open. And the joke, and I just think that's such a stunning image, as I say. It encapsulates that craziness about him that we want the madness. And then we just click draw. And then Sculpt OK is going to do all its computer magic in the background. And then it's going to spit us out the depth map, which we can then go on to make the STL file for the 3D print that I want to do with this, because I want to actually do this in, in 3D. I want to actually make this in silver. So I'm going to actually show you guys the finished article, the 3D print of it as well, so you can see the whole process from the image on the screen to the actual physical 3D print I get out of it so you can see the finished, the whole workflow. So here we go. There it is. Now you can see you've got a watermark across it. Now you do have to use some credits, but there is a link below in the description to get some free credits. So if you click the link below, you can have a test and play around with it and see what results you guys can get. So I'm just going to click the no watermark preview and we'll just have a look. And this is just gives you a very quick 3D rendering of what it's going to look like. And look at that, it's even got a, um, a texture mapping on it. It even gives you the texture, the colours. But we don't want that for what I'm doing. I don't need that, so I'll just turn that off. And there you go. There's a very quick 3D render of it. And now you've got lots of options down the right-hand side to play about with an experiment to get exactly what you're going for. Now, the first one I like to change is the model scaling. I like to put that to 100%. And it just, for me, it just gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more refined. And as you can see, look at that. Really, really cool. And basically, that's it. That gives us the STL file we need to print out. So all you do then is you just click download STL file and it will spit it out to your computer. And also, if you don't want to save out the STL file, the 3D render, if you just want the depth map to put it in for, I don't know, your laser engraver or what, I don't know what your project will be, but whatever you need your depth map for, you can just come back here. And then you can just download the, you just click there, download, and it'll download you the actual 3D depth map. So you have the depth map. So we'll just have a look. I'll just show you that now. And there it is. There's the depth map. And look how cool that is. How cool is that? There's the depth map. There's the original. And I'm sure you agree. It works really, really cool. It gives us what we need. And for me, for my silver pouring, to make my moulds, it's absolutely spot on because it gives me the shadows where I need them. And there'd be the more dark areas. But I'll now do the 3D print and I'll show you what it actually looks like in 3D form. So here we go, here's the finished print. I'm over at my desk, so the light's not very good. But as you can see, it's printed out really cool. It's got a nice relief, and of course. In Sculpt OK, you could make it even thicker if you wanted, but for what I use it for, for my silver pouring to make my mould, this is perfect. And there you have it. That's the final result. 
and I think you'll agree it's come out really cool from that depth map. And as I said, Sculpt OK, if you want to give it a test, there's some free credits using the link in the description below. Cheers for watching, folks, and good luck with your projects.